the mark of the beast. East of Suez, some hold, the direct control of providence ceases. Man being there, handed over to the gods and devils of Asia. My friends Fleet and Strickland can vouch for it. And so can that hideous leper, the servant of Hanuman, the monkey god, the silver man who tried to avenge the mark of the beast. It all began at the annual reunion we held at the club when Fleet got inexcusably drunk. I say, Strickland, I think we'd better form a guard of dishonor to get old Fleet home. He's had enough. Aye, lad, he's been away for too long. Life here in Rangoon seems to be too much for him. All right, old boy, let's be on our way. Sure, let's go. Easy now. On our way home through the bazaar close to the temple of Hanuman, the monkey god, as we passed it, Fleet, come back. My old <coughs> friend, she that mark of the beast. I made it. Isn't it fine? Stop, Fleet. You can't do that. Fleet sat himself down in front of the idol and refused to move. We tried to apologize to the angry priests. We're awfully sorry about this. It, it couldn't be helped. An accident. Please accept our humble apologies. Suddenly, from behind the idol, there stepped a hideous leper called by the natives Silver Man because of the dead whiteness of his flesh. Get up, Fleet! Come on! Silver Man! The Silver Man! Before we could stop him, the awful leper had thrown his arms around Fleet and pressed his head against his breast. Leave him alone! Keep away from him! Let's get him out of here! How? The crowd has us hemmed in! Silence! Take your friend away. He has done with Hanuman. But Hanuman has not done with him. Let's go. Why did they allow slaughterhouses so near this bazaar? Can't you smell the blood? You're drunk. Come on. Somehow we got Fleet to bed. He kept complaining about a bite. Bite. Got a bite on my chest. We'll probably hear more of this. If those natives put in a complaint, it will mean serious trouble for poor old Fleet. No use worrying. I'll see you in the morning. It's a good thing he's staying with you. The next day, I rode over to Strickland's to find Fleet abusing the cook over a chop. I said rare. This isn't rare. It's like shoe leather. Yes, Sahib. Good Lord, man. Do you want it raw? A man who can eat meat like that after what you drank last night is a curiosity. I'm all right, but for that bite. You breed queer mosquitoes here. I've been bitten to pieces, but only in one place. Let's take a look at that bite, Fleet. Nasty. What is it? I don't know. It was pink this morning, but it's gone black now. At that moment, the chops Fleet had ordered were served, and he went back to eating, snapping at the food for all the world like a beast. You seem mighty hungry, Fleet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly, he stopped and looked around queerly. Say, what's got into me? I don't think I've ever been this hungry in my life. I've bolted my dinner like an ostrich. Forget it. Let's go out and take a look at the horses. I'd like to show you that new pony I bought. As we entered the stable, a strange thing happened. The horses reared and screamed in terror. They seemed to have gone mad. What's got into them? No, they're terrified of something. We'd better get out before they break loose. They can't be afraid of us. I'd give three months pay if one of them could talk. Aye, so would I. Very queer. You know, I'm awfully sleepy. I'm going to lie in the sun for a while. I'll see you later. Right, Fleet. I'll stay around here and see if I can find out what happened to the horses. I'll stay with you, Strickland. When Fleet had left. Say, do you notice anything queer about Fleet? Well, he eats his food like a beast. But that may come of living in the hills too long. Maybe it's that bite. Hmm. I can't tell you what I think now, but you must stay here for tonight. Will you? If you're that worried, of course I will. But I think you're making a fuss over nothing. Oddly enough, when we went into the stable, the horses were quiet. We saddled a couple and rode through the bazaar as we passed the temple. Uh, uh. Look, there's that leper. He gives me the creeps. Me too, come on. He's not one of the regular priests of the temple. I, I wish I could place him. Aye, there's something evil about him. Inside, with the lights on, we got an awful shock when we got a good look at Fleet. Those lights, they hurt my eyes. I'm going to my room. All right, old man, take it easy. There's going to be trouble tonight. Big trouble. I'm worried. So am I. It was an hour later that it happened. From upstairs came the long-drawn howl of a wolf. <coughs> what was that? It came from Fleet's room. 
Come on. We crashed into that room to find a sight of horror that will remain with me always. Fleet had become a bestial thing. Fleet, come back. Get him. We'll have to tie him up. Get some rope, quick. I, I can't hold him. Right. Somehow, we finally subdued him and sent for the doctor. I'm afraid it's the worst case of hydrophobia I've ever seen. There isn't a thing I can do. Are you sure, doctor? Yes, I would stake my reputation on it. I'll, I'll send a nurse as soon as possible. When the doctor had gone, there's nothing a doctor can do. We both know that. I... But if the silver man had laid a spell on... Look! And there was the leper, dancing with his shadow and howling to the moon. And each cry was answered by Fleet. We were right. We've got to put a stop to this. We must catch him. Somehow, we fashioned a noose and dragged the monstrosity into the room where Fleet lay. What now? Keep him here until I'm ready for him. A moment later, I knew what he meant. You're, you're not... Let him watch. Let him see how they grow red hot. How they glow. Now we'll see how good our spells are. Ugh! What happened then is not to be printed. It is enough to say that at dawn the leper did as we wished. We've won! We've won! May it please God you are right. He's doing the same thing. Shh! Arr! Arr! Oh! Quick! Help me untie him. Are you sure? Then, before our eyes, the face of the beast faded. He's becoming human again. His eyes are the eyes of a man. His face clears. And then he sat up. Hello, you two. What happened? I'm never going to mix my drinks again. I'm nearly dead. You don't know how nearly. You'd better lie down and get some sleep. <laughs>